because of the hormonal changes during pregnancy, uh, they tend to have little inflammation uh, in their gums. It's called the pregnancy gingivitis. And uh, sometimes, you know, it is reversible. But if you don't take very good care of your gums, some of these things can lead into progression of the disease, even after delivery. And then, obviously, there are social reasons for one to take care of their teeth and gums. And that's one aspect of it. The other thing that we have seen in our other studies is that mothers tend to transmit some of the bacteria in their oral cavity that are capable of producing cavities in baby's teeth. And there may be other you know, influences on the baby's health as well from this bacteria. Uh, in certain cultures, uh, I think it is very common that mother would test the temperature of the baby bottle by putting it in her mouth, uh, the, the, the nipple, I believe, of the baby bottle. Uh, sometimes, you know, the kissing and, and uh, sharing the same spoon or, or fork, uh, some of these utensils. I think there's a potential that you carry a good dose of some of this bacteria in the mother's mouth directly to the baby. In one of the studies, uh, we wanted to see whether we can prevent this vertical transmission. It's called breaking the chain of transmission. We work with uh, pregnant women uh, to begin with, and then subsequent to delivery, we took care of all their dental problems before the baby got the first tooth, around six months of age. And we treated the mother's mouth with a chemotherapeutic agent. It's a combination of chlorhexidine varnish and, and, a, and a sealant uh, that we put, it's a polyurethane varnish that we put over the chlorhexidine so the chlorhexidine would stay on teeth mm -hmm. for a longer period of time. And what we wanted to see is, you know, whether number one, whether we can reduce mother's bacterial levels by treating her with this chlorhexidine. And number two, whether that would reduce the number of cavities in two, three, four years down the road. And we actually saw some, you know, interesting results that we saw a fewer number of teeth actually in the baby got decayed compared to the, the babies in the group where the mother did not receive any uh, chemotherapeutic agents, indicating that, you know, this vertical transmission is, of course, uh, a viable option.